Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Python programming language. The program must accept a string S yes, and it must find the points of the string based on the following conditions. If the alphabet in S yes forms a palindrome means we have to add one point. Now the second condition, if the digits in S forms a palindrome, means we have to add one point. And the third condition, if the string S itself a palindrome means we have to add an point. Now the output should be based on the following condition. If the point is 3 means it must print triple palindrome. If points is equal to 2 means we must print double palindrome. If if points equal to one means we have to print single palindrome. If points equal to zero means we have to print no palindrome. Now, the program must accept a string S. Yes. If the alphabet in S yes forms a palindrome means you have to add one point. If the digits in S yes forms a palindrome means you have to add one point. If the string S yes itself a palindrome means you have to add one point. If point is three means a triple palindrome, two means double, one means single and so on. Now, let's check for our test case. Here, we will just uh, points equal to 0. First we will write the alphabets in S. Yes. M, A, B, A, M, madam, which is a palindrome. So we are adding one point. Now we have to check for the digits. Seventy-seven. It is also a palindrome. So we are adding three points. The string itself is also a palindrome. So we have to print triple palindrome. Triple palindrome will be our output. Now, let's check for our another test case. Here, the string itself is not a palindrome. So, you have to check for alphabets and digits. A, B, C, B, A. It is a palindrome. So, we have to add one point. Now, for digits 3, 4, 1, 4, 3. It is a palindrome. So, points is equal to 2. Hence, the output will be double palindrome. 
it will be our output we must get the input from the user s is equal to input dot strip now let us declare a variable called alpha str which is equal to digit str which is equal to an empty string to store the alphabets and digits in yes now we must iterate for character in yes if character dot is alpha alpha str plus equal to character else digit str plus equal to character now we must initiate point is equal to zero if we must check whether the string itself is a palindrome or not if s is equal to s of minus one we have to increment the point points plus equal to one if alpha str equal to equal to alpha str of minus one means and alpha str why we are using alpha str means there will be some characters in that string so we are using alpha str we must increment the point plus equal to one if digit str equal to equal to digit str of minus one and digit str here digit str means there will be some digits in that string so we are using here points plus equal to one now result is equal to no comma single comma double comma triple if point is zero means no will be printed two means double three means triple now print result of points if the result is zero means no 1 means single, 2 means double, 3 means triple, comma palindrome. This comma will give a space and palindrome will be printed in our output. No single palindrome like that. Now let's run our test case. triple palindrome which is our required output double palindrome this string gives a double palindrome which is our required output double space palindrome is printed here now for another test case let us give skill rack as our input no palindrome is printed because uh, the string itself is not a palindrome our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.